Hello ladies, gents and marionettes, come back to life. I have not touched the daily challenge in a billion years approximately. So I'm going to go in there now that I have incredible out of this world skills to actually make it to the cosmic ocean. It won't be nearly as humiliating, he said about five minutes before he died to a mole destroying his anus onto spikes in 1-3. That is perhaps the best prediction that I can make on the success of this uh, this amazing daily challenge. Not going to even give a damn about gathering money because you know all this story that I have been telling you for the last, uh, what is it? Was it at least six months since Blunky 2 has been out? How I lament the fact that uh, the leaderboards are so heavily weighted towards how far you made in the daily challenge and not the score makes it so that it's exactly the same experience as adventure mode unless you are uh for whatever reason doing a score run and then oops there's the daily challenge well done well done i'm going to leave it i'm going to put that out there uh, this is the kind of incredibly confident and self-assured man that you're dealing with a lesser gamer would delete that and just start adventure mode but not this guy not this fellow right here with the two thumbs and a poorly sadly badly beaten look i avoided the arrow that was the uh, entire objective poorly beaten ego just cutting me down to size thank goodness there's instant restart in this mode right because otherwise I would uh, never, ever, ever make any progress. A lesser human being would just delete this whole thing and restart. And believe me, if this is all a complete and utter failure, I will. Like, I will not put out an episode where it's just me dying in the dwellings, right? Uh, there, you gotta draw the line somewhere. And it's not because I humiliated myself for 30 minutes. It's because I did absolutely nothing of worth and i don't think that's proper content to put out onto the internet but because this run is going places after a few false starts a few really really tiny tiny setbacks look at all these turkeys look at me carrying a bunch of turkeys i'm going to actually tame all the turkeys i'm going to grab the other turkey and we're going to grab the turkey i'm going to go places with the turkey not even taking them to yang i'm just a turkey man today i'm going to grab these turkeys and get them places it's just how it's going to be there's no real reason to do such a thing why am i doing that just give me some some health i am down with this and here's this weirdo this absolute buffoon selling a jar full of jizz what a disgusting disgrace of a creature Ugh. anyway the last challenge that i have for myself and i realize this is like a league above why you do this to me i hate i hate that you put the key up there i ignore you key i don't need no ujarai i'm just going to find an incredible pile of bombs i believe that fits the description right there this incredible pile of bombs, though, is slightly complicated. Slightly complicated. How can we put this, uh... How can we get this done? I mean, if I alert both of them. This is uh, an investment. These bombs that I'm spending right now, they are an investment. A foolish person would say, Oh, you shouldn't be wasting stuff like that. But no. I am making sure these two idiots find one another. I mean, this is too hilarious to pass up. You have. You have to push this like so. One of them disappeared. That's good enough for me. I know that now I am blamed for murder. A very, very tiny side effect. Tiny, I say. Tiny side effect. I think I'm down with going up this way. Tiny side effect of the hilarity that just came to pass. It's going to be... Eh, forgiveness shall come in time. Don't worry about it. Paco's not worry about it. Why would should you should you be worried about it? That's not me. A person who worries. I don't fit that description. I fit more the description of incredibly successful, handsome human being who fears nothing. 
and will embrace chaos at every opportunity. I don't appreciate, though, that this piece of garbage went the way that I didn't want him to go. He was facing that direction, so I don't really uh, have much of a defense other than I am an idiot. But it really doesn't matter where the tunnel ends up aiming. Just go down, put a bomb where you want to go. Do we want to go to Volcano? Well, yes, because even though, you know, it's not impossible to find the black market it is a lot wow that incredible arc of the gold makes me want to pick it up just out of principle uh it is it is unlikely we'll stumble upon let's just uh, alert this guy what does the other one get alerted on the other side no they're independent from one another i believe that we have seen this before really you're not you're not coming over you're not coming over you little, little fella all right that's good stuff Going to Volcana with, you know, not the greatest of items, but we're going to be fine. We have 15 bombs and an incredible raging hardon, so that should be plenty to get things done. This man is not happy to see me. He's not going to be happy to see me. Fireboy. I uh, don't want to destroy his anus, but I do want... Like, I don't want to destroy his store. What the freaking hell, brother? <laughs> you just... You just destroy. No, wait, 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 wait. Look, I want those 12 bombs, okay? And I am willing to spend some resources. Getting it done. Oh, that's going to touch the... Uh-oh. <laughs> okay, that's good. Everything's fine. Everything's fine. We got this under control. Perfect. We haven't touched this idiot. Forgiveness continues to progress forward. Everything goes according to plan. There's the other piece of garbage. Uh, alrighty. Look, easy peasy. I will be forgiven momentarily. What is more satisfying than murdering all those fools? Fooling them. Treating them like this scum garbage tiny brains that they are. That is the, the most satisfying part of dealing with these idiots. Can find that stupid bow and get it to where it needs to be so we can get things done properly you may or may not be aware i am the proud owner of a second channel it's called white muff and there i put stuff that concerns all my other non-gaming passions mostly it's all about writing it's about reading and it's about art mostly it's being a lot of art lately but i put out a video just yesterday uh, as, uh, you know, uh, in reference to me recording this video for you, once I post this, what it will be? It will be, I oh, don't know. Third thing? It doesn't matter. What it matters is put a lot of uh, fun times into it. You may not be aware of it. It's always in the description. A link to the second channel. I don't put out a lot of stuff in there because I do enjoy playing video games and doing commentary with it. I really don't appreciate this dead drop right here. I mean, I could just take a hit, right? It seems safe. I take this point of damage. I mean, oh, I have a parachute. Never mind. I would have been burnt to a crisp. This is uh, freaking karma right there. My beautiful boat. Let me out. <laughs> Get me out of here. <laughs> Everything's fine. A little bit of a bad time. Well, I have become stuck here in a bad situation. That's right. That's the thing that happens. He uh, turns around and just hits you in the head. He's going to jump, right? All right. This is good. This is, this is fine. Everything's fine. <laughs> I need to spend another rope here. Otherwise, I will just... I forgot that existed. <laughs> It's only been 10 minutes. It's only been 10 minutes. It's fine. We can just go back. That stupid ball and chain. Once again, it's not... It's not the dumbass shopkeepers that kill me. It's dealing with their nonsense that kills me. And trying to deal with them peacefully. That is what actually killed me. Trying to embrace peace. And just going with that silly, silly narrative of, oh, fooling them is more satisfying than actually doing c 
constant and guiltless murder against their pathetic little garbage lights. No, why? I don't want that. It's stupid and I hate everything. See if we can get some turkeys and some nonsense. That's not going to work out and now you're just going to explode. I didn't want lizards on to Kali's out there anyway. She uh, takes exception. She takes exception to such pathetic prices. Do, 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 do. Oh. Such pathetic little offerings. Doesn't really like it. You get you murdered? And now we'll have some proper flesh. You'll get yours soon, uh, Yang. Filthy Antonio Banderas. Please go over there. Why is life so hard? All I needed, uh, you know, to solve the problem that I had just earlier, in which I got crushed to death, Surely, having a capala would have made all the difference. Still nothing, huh? Still nothing. I just, just need some more. Some more nonsense. And this turkey's gonna do it. <laughs> okay, turkey. Let me get you. You were supposed to be alive. Huh? Wow, what a great drop there. Fantastic. Anyway, uh... Wow. All these... No, no, no. Oh, I'm dead. Oh, I'm not dead. Incredible. How can I be this incompetent? It's one dash two. I really should be keeping track of just how many points I should be having. Because this is quite pathetic. Like, this is not going to be enough. This is definitely not going to be enough. Whoa. And now I am in this situation. It would have been enough. I thought that that lizard had been hurt. It would have been enough. Oh, damn it. I wanted that. Let me just grab that. There you go. I give you, uh, I think, very consistent gameplay. Well, stop it. Very consistent gameplay. One entire 10 minute stretch of utter incompetence, followed by just some delicious shopkeeper humiliation. You never know what you're gonna get when you open up one of these videos. Just like you never know what you're gonna get when you open up my second channel. <laughs> it's uh, something I really don't uh, promote nearly as often as I should, I feel. Because uh, I just like video games and I and that's why you're here. But maybe you are sometimes interested as well. Oh, really? Oh, really? Whatever else I got to say. So, you don't know, if uh, you feel so inclined, open up the description. Check out the video. I've been reading something I already told you about, but I'm going to continue expounding off it because it's in fact uh, uh, an evolving situation. For all, all my life, there's been wonderful stories that have captivated my heart. And I didn't think, you know, started out my, my very first book was Fantastic Voyage 2 by Isaac Asimov. That was like my first adult man book that I picked up. It was so thick, as thick as my freaking wrist. It was thicker than the log that I dropped in the bathroom this morning. It was unreal how thick that book was. And I was like, I'm going to be a grown-up. I'm going to read this. And it was such an awesome experience. I would reread that as a, you know, when you're, when you're a kid you reread things and re-experience things and dwell in things a lot more than you do in an adult as an adult i would reread that every year and i would reread it any time that i would forget the characters names and i haven't reread it for a long time because i still remember them looking sofia kaleen and natalia voronova was it natalia was it albert morrison i know there was a yuri in there well, I have remembered them. I remember them enough that I feel like I'll need to get a refresher. Let me just shoot you straight in the face, you filthy mole man. But anyway, all through my life, there's been other stories that have captivated me that much. And I'm always, for a while, for a long time, I think the last one that I got really into really was uh, the Dresden Files series. That has, you know, has been going for a long time, so fell in love with it a while ago. 
I don't want to go that way. I want to go to Volcana. I want redemption. I want to find myself back in those fiery pits of oblivion. I did murder a shopkeeper, right? I, I did do that. <laughs> that is a, a bit of violence that I did engage in. Let me just go through there. Uh, we have gone through a field without murdering them, so we have a little bit of hope that we might be able to make it. We don't have any way to open that easily, so let me just... Uh, actually, I can destroy Kali's altar and she will be very, very upset. All right, it's all good. Everything's fine. Life is grand. Should be harvesting blood. What's your deal? Why are you staring at the wall? I suppose a caveman used to uh, ride you? Why are you not patrolling around? You're weirding me out. Uh, well, you should be getting fried. But anyway, what I was getting at with that entire diatribe... Book of the Ancestor Trilogy by Mark Lawrence. Didn't think so at first. The first book, I enjoyed it, but I didn't think it was like... Man, I'm really, really into it. Uh, the more that I read the trilogy, it's like, this is totally... Like, uh, I catch it constantly captivating my imagination, to, you know, to a fault. I, I think I, I need to be thinking about other things, the books that I am writing and not books that I am reading, but uh, it, my brain constantly goes back to, oh, what's going to happen next? And uh, what's the, this and, and that and that other thing going to happen with... I really don't like this individual. I don't endorse his insistence on being a garbage creature. Let me just find the exit and get out of here. Why not? Why the hell not? Just get out of here. I am sure that we are very, very close to not having to worry about those scumbags anymore. I am sure that this drill's not going to piss off the next one. It's all going to be just fine. So anyway, you caught me by surprise just how much I've been getting into that book. And that's what that video that I put on the second channel it's about it's not about how it's being captivating but I'm going to make another one I'm going to make a video talking about that about all the stories that have shaped my life focusing on books there's also been video games there's that trifecta of sh TV shows never really movies I can't even tell you a movie that I was like, oh, super into maybe like Fight Club and The Matrix, but they never really, I would never say that, oh, they shaped my life. They were just really good movies that I enjoyed and that I remember dearly. But I wouldn't say, oh, this really shaped my life like, say, freaking Dragonlands did. My teenage obsession. Man, did I love the Dragonlands series. Cut my, it wasn't the first fantasy that I read and made me fall in love with fantasy ever since. Much like Isaac Asimov made me fall in love with fa uh, science fiction. Let me just uh, go all the way to the bottom here. I am sure there will be no danger to me whatsoever. Please no fireman. Please no bully. All right, let's get our ways into the Vlad <laughs> Hello, rat face. Damn it. Why you had to be there? <laughs> I am... I was content with getting Vlad's cape. Oh yeah. I mean, obviously, I might still die horrendously. Why am I using a rope here? I am just an idiot. Just an idiot. Spending resources that I don't have to spend. There's the climbing gloves. I don't need no stinking danger ass jetpack. Why am I doing it like this? This is stupid. <laughs> I'm an idiot. All right, we'll just have to wait for this moron. We actually, we don't want him to teleport into the wall, so let me just wait for the moron. Get him all the way back here. Actually, you can uh, stump him. You can stump him in a different way, but... We have it committed to this path. Please, idiot! Okay, would you like to please look the other... No, actually, you need to look that way. Well, well done! Well done, you stupid blood-sucking piece of garbage! And now... If we grab... This vampire boy that I should be completely wrecked by. What just happened? Is there any other vampire boys? We can get some extra blood. Actually, we don't need the plasma can. Now that I have climbing gloves, don't really care. Don't really care. I'm just going to try and get a whole bunch of blood out of this situation. I didn't see any more vampires, unfortunately. We can do it with... Oh, there's a vampire. 
Only one, huh? Come on, you don't have to be aggressive with him like that. I'm sure you guys will survive. Let's get some more blood vessels. Why are you guys <laughs> so damn aggressive? Aggressively traveling around this place. All right, well done. Ah, my blood bank. Let me just get all that stuff. Obviously, without the vampire, this is not unlimited blood. But it's a lot of blood. And get all that good stuff. Oh, yeah, and they don't get mad. They're too damn stupid to realize. I am harvesting them for the vitals. Good stuff. Good enough. 14 health. I'm down with it. I was going to go for that jetpack. Climbing gloves and Vlad's cape is good enough. Let's just go with the, the quest chain. I'm always... Oh, hey. It's, it's the place. It's the place. I can totally get the plasma cannon, though. Is there a reason? I mean, I can grab and just carry it to places and all that good stuff. What I could do... I could grab this. You can't carry it. What are you talking about? I was like, can you carry it? But no, you can only carry it. When there's a, oh, this is blocked. I, I don't have the patience to go open up wherever the hell this goes. Actually, this will be the middle of... Oh, shit. No, oh, no. <laughs> bad times. Bad times. Eh. I will probably be dead right now if I had that jetpack, huh? <laughs> what I instantly exploded. What an incredible little lesson over there. Don't grab the jetpack. You're not good enough. Just get out of here. Anyway, make a video about all those stories. I'm telling you all the different book series that have been instrumental in my formation as a human being. Not really in, as a human being. I would definitely say they literally changed my life. Because, you know, they were factors in my life that influenced certain decisions that through the action of the butterfly effect... I would not have ended up where I did end up in the end. Just small things like maybe getting into a confrontation what I normally wouldn't have and stuff like that because of something that I had in my head because of some book. It could have spiraled in a completely different direction if I had not read those books. Or at the very least, back then when I was growing up, you know, ain't no, ain't no Amazon around to just click on the books that you want and you get them. You have to go to the actual bookstore and they will not have it, obscure stuff. You have to go there and talk to somebody and see if they can order it for you. And you know that as a pathetic, shy, fat and stupid 15 year old, that takes, you know, uh, living a, a life of extreme ease. That takes some uh, entrepreneurial spirit. Not really. That's not the that's not the spirit that it takes. But you know what I'm talking about. I hate this. <laughs> Please c jump onto lava so that I may laugh at your demise. Thank you. I appreciate that. Should we forgive him by now, right? There you go. Everything is beautiful. Everything is beautiful. You gotta go there, talk to somebody, see if they can order for, from their catalog. Then. They, don't even have your phone number or anything so you just show up again at some point and hope and that's how you acquire those books with your whatever money you have cobbled together in your teenage endeavors I never really had an allowance because you know my, my parents well their soulmate Colme has been a very downtrodden lately he just really does not enjoy himself these days he has a bad time he has a bad time in the in the caves. I don't blame him for just being so damn sad to be around. I mean, Paco's always mistreating him. It's three slash four bombs to for the Olmec skip. is like, I can't really afford it, can I? But I'm gonna do it. Because I freaking hate having to go all the way to the bottom of this nonsense. Let's see. Let's do it. Let's do it. Is that the most perfect bomb of all time? No. And I think now I, I messed it up catastrophically because it's not going to work out. You need to put the bomb right here. So let's see what happens. I actually have never tried it. I've never actually tried to get Olmec where he needs to be with this setup. So I'm about to be crushed like 100% of the time. 
I very much look forward to it. And maybe that way we can uh, get all make a little bit of a, of a smile. Ah, I see. That's what happens, huh? That's what happens. Uh, if we destroy that block, he'll be able to get up here. We, we can work this out. We can work this out. Don't worry about it. It's a shame. Can to come up here? Can he get in here? No. He will not crush me either, right? That ain't gonna happen. That ain't gonna happen. Oh, but he, he's too high. He's too high. But we just need to get him a little further down. I shouldn't have done that. Okay, that did that happened a thing. That did a thing, but not enough. A little bit of a botch to skip, but you know, I'm already committed, so let's do, let's carry on doing it. I'm not terribly intimidated by Olmec. He's a he's a total pushover. He should be able to do something like okay, that happens. And now just get him out of there. Get him out of there again. It's a little bit of a really dumb process. I've already wasted more time. Don't think that I'm not aware that I have already wasted more time than it would have taken to just kill him. <laughs> but this does it. There you go. Now you just spam that enter button. You can do it. You can do it, Paco. <laughs> oh, yeah. There you go. You made it. <laughs> reminds me of the struggle in my wedding night how hard it was to get in jeez at least i made it through push through it this was a total waste of time because we still need to get olmec all the way to the bottom <laughs> not all the way to the bottom holy crap but you know you know what i'm talking about we still need to manipulate them to open up the way i don't know uh, honestly it's still comparable to the time that you would have taken to do the entire fight. And at least this way, I didn't have to deal with uh, my own incompetence, getting destroyed by aliens and stuff like that. That would have been terrible. Let's see if we can train one of these morons. I am sure this idiot is going to stay alive uh, for a couple million years. He'll be just fine. Just go down, ignore things. Blood is not necessary. Death upon all my enemies. Stop it, Bubble Boy. Do not interfere with my process. You may not. I didn't jump so high. Incredible. <laughs> Incredible ability. Holy crap, there was a, a trap over there I did not see. Could have easily wrecked me. Easily wrecked me. I mean, I'm here, there's climbing gloves. Whatever. I'm just going to start getting good stuff we really need bombs here so it will be extremely helpful to get some bombs these are not the items i am looking for please provide some bombs none of these are things that i'm enthused about you can shove that right up your butthole you stupid ass bitch you are garbage lady you have completely ruined everything, and I hate you. I'm not going to have the, <laughs> the bombs even to get the damn unk skip. How foolish is that? How foolish is that? And without the bombs for the unk skip, our slavey friend has killed himself. Here's what I'm hoping. That that shop is going to solve all our problems. That would be fantastic. That would be great. That would be awesome. You carry no bombs whatsoever! You garbage creature! I hate you! Uh, that probably means we're gonna have to just do the quest chain. Like, the legit way. Or I could use my, you know, my climbing gloves. To skip all the way up. I can get that done, right? Why am I going down this way instead of... Just throwing the torch. That made no sense. One way or another, it's all done. Everything's great. Got me some beautiful clone gun. Mm -mm -mm. Not really sure how to proceed, honestly. 
I've been neglecting the Spelunkies, honestly. I've been... Well, first of all, I've been just working so hard on all the other nonsense like that video that I posted. There was a lot of drawing involved. A lot of drawing. Perhaps a little too much. But, you know, you get into a certain series. You want to do a little bit of... Uh, Look, uh, uh, don't get me some 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 caveman shopkeeper apologists on the comments. I'm an equally opportunity equal opportunity murder, especially Paco. Like he has no patience for some filthy caveman pretending to be some kind of important person trying to sell you stuff. He's going to go in there and just just shove a sword right into his mouth. Just for the very marginal benefit to his person. Just the bloodthirst. Wow. Why are fishes so difficult to hit? I take very serious offense. Oh! Very serious offense to it. There you go. Please go in here, you fatso. I'm going to cut you to pieces. Fubu! Alright. Uh. As usual, open this up. Let me... I like to open it up at the top. Because if you give me a bomb box, I'm going to just clone it forever. Please don't swing that. While I am near, I will explode. Alright, so you can keep that Gronk. You can leave through here. Hmm, okay, Gronk. Can you possibly remain safe? And I keep you safe. Well, I, I apologize. I did not mean to ag agreed you. Do some violence upon you. I mean, you can't can't get out of here. You cannot. I would just need to find a way to get out of here without you following me. How do I do that? There's no way to do that, right? There's no way to do that. Oh yeah, there is a way to do I mean, not anymore, because now I opened the way, because I'm an idiot. But I can open the gate, and then go through the gate. And then close the gate back up. I mean, it's too late now. Look. I don't need no stinking question. All I need to do is grab this uh, wonderful clone gun. Are we going to grab it? And we're going to keep it, and we're going to treasure it all the way. To gloop. I got a plan. I'm going to be able to just use my climbing gloves on my fantastic landscape world ultimate save. Like, I saw that. Let me walk you through the, the sequence of events inside my brain. Like, my brain saw the Yangshi and saw the bear trap and calculated the odds. The odds seemed extremely, extremely slim of me dropping into that bear trap as a result of the Yangshi being a piece of garbage and him is straight in the face. Turns out the odds were not so low. So it was like a conscious decision to be like, ah, that's not gonna happen, come on. Immediately regret it, even though it did not end in complete disaster. Because it almost did. Alright, how about you get in, impaled? I'll be, I'll be a great... Get impaled. Please. Thank you. I guess I'll take those. Even though they're total trash. Uh, I more than enough rope to hang myself with. I don't need any more. I don't need any more. I'm all good. All right, another level complete. Everything is going to be uh, fantastic. Was, I can already see the doubting looks that I am getting from your ugly mugs. All of you doubting me. Being like, Psh, Blarko, you're not going to pull off this skip. Just be glad that sometimes you can do it with a, with a jetpack. Be happy sometimes you pull that off. You idiot. 
dislike. Let's explode. Get me that. Put myself through here so we can figure out it's exactly above me. There is gloop. I will appreciate an explosive so I don't have to use one of the 20. One of the 20 things that I wish that I had. That made no sense whatsoever. One of the bombs that I don't have to spare. Okay, there goes the clone gun. Our resources shall be replenished in time. For now, though, we hoard them. Uh, no reason to go into the back layer, honestly. Why even bother? You just descend. Oh boy. Descend and get through the exit. Look, I already gave you an incredible gift. The amazing gift of that daily challenge death. How incredible was that? You gotta admit. Oh crap. <laughs> you gotta admit, it takes a certain skill, certain know how to screw up that badly. Everybody can die in Spelunky, but to make it that spectacular, fulminating, and immediate? Come on. That takes a Blargo level of incompetence. Ain't gonna find it just about anywhere. This is a place where you can come to for the most incredible... No, stop. Oh, holy crap. That's incredible instances of full mid ending defeat. I hate this. <laughs> Everything about it. Why you do this to me? All I wanted was to just get through. Get through Neo Babylon without exploding. Alright, even if I explode, I should be okay once. Ah, yep, yep, made it another. Another path. Oh, yeah. We did gamble. Oh, no, we did not gamble because I was terribly offended. Horrendously offended by that pitcher's mate. I was like, I'm not playing this game with chance anymore. I'm being mocked. It was nothing but trash. Okay, there is an elevator above me. Don't forget that. Don't forget that. All right. Ah, the moment of truth cometh. We at least have plenty of ropes. Look, I pulled it off, this off many times. I can't remember whether I've done it in a recorded video. So uh, let's make this the first, okay? <laughs> uh, and there's several ways of doing it. When I have spring shoes, I don't like going straight through the bottom here. I, I would rather just take my chances on the the spark trap. It's super annoying. Take my chances on the spark trap here. I have to wait. Alrighty. I have to wait again. These are some tough spark traps. Okay. Nope, nope. There you go. This is annoying. This is the, the part where I always screw it up. Every time, man, I... Oh, you're supposed to rope first, and I didn't blow up the thing. Oh, lucky, dude. Just, oh, oh, lucky boy. <laughs> I'm the lucky boy. <laughs> right. Let me, uh... I've been given a second chance. I've been given a second chance. For some reason, my brain says, jump, 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 jump again, jump again. You gotta rope first. Then you jump. Believe it. Believe it. Really should uh, get even more practice about this. See that? Holy crap! I was, uh, a little too excited there. Uh, that's the chance you you get. Do you see how I almost got sparked? When you do it this way, if you want to be quote unquote safe about it, you need to just go through the bottom and navigate the spark traps through the bottom. <sighs> I can't believe I did that again. I can't believe it! <laughs> it's so frustrating because I've actually done this in Overlanky like a good 10 to 20 times. And I've actually done it several times when just playing for the fun of it. At least we get the third chance. 
It's all right, third time will be the charm. It's going to definitely happen. Please, at least give me another chance when I, I'm at the top. When I'm at the very top. And uh, is the place where I actually fail the most. I would appreciate that a great deal. Instead of humiliating me before I get to the actual good spot. It's so saddening. Why you do that? <laughs> because I am recording, isn't it? It's because I'm recording. Look, that was... No! I rushed to get there. I don't know why. Because it's the pressure. The pressure got to me. And now I've been humiliated yet again. But hey, what is Spelunky if not an experience in humiliation? <laughs> 